has all the latest sports apparel. Click the link for the newest jerseys, hats, and clothes from all your favorite NBA teams. Here with Josh Jones. What's good, Josh? Hey, what's good, man? How you? I'm chilling, man. What's popping in the gym? You know, I, you mean, back getting ready, you know, moving, working. How you feeling? I'm feeling great. I mean, I feel like I never left. Uh, how long was you out? Two months? Uh, yeah, damn near two months. Ramadan? Yes. Uh, Ramadan was, was a month long. But, you know, during that Ramadan, I came in, I was still in and going running and stuff. But, you know, I had to basically take care of business. How much was you weighing around that time? Um, when Ramadan ended, I was like 45. I mean, I lost a lot of weight. I usually walk around in my 50s. But, yeah, man, I lost 10 pounds. All right, was you still strong or was you? Yeah, I still felt strong because uh, during that time, like I eat like I eat like stuff that keep my, like my body like feeling strong, like oatmeal. Um, take my vitamins, you know. Uh, drink my vitamin C, uh, um, sea moss, uh, elderberry. I stayed up on everything just to make sure my body is right. Okay. Now, how many Ramadans is this for you? Is this the only one that you didn't train? That that you didn't? Yeah, this is my first one. Whereas though, I didn't train. You know, um, cause I like with me working the nighttime job. And like coming in the gym and training during Ramadan, it was like, actually it was a little hard, you know, because I was only getting like three, four hours of sleep mm -hmm. before I came in the gym, you know. But now, since it's been over, like I've been back to getting my body back ready and going to sleep. Like during Ramadan, I was going to sleep damn near like five o'clock, five thirty, six o'clock, because you know I pray, I stay up and pray the nighttime prayers and then pray Fajr. Uh, you eat for Sahur before Fajr. And then I went and go to sleep for a while, and then finally fall asleep. Okay. I see you still looking. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. We're ready. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. All right. So you you available like you available for any summertime fights or anything like that? Yeah, yeah. Summertime. Yeah, I'm available. You know, I'm getting. I already got myself back together, so you know, I'm back training, back running, back doing everything I got to do. And you're a promotional and management free, free agent. Yeah, yes, sir. Free agent out Still here, undefeated. You know? Still undefeated. If y'all want it, call me. You know okay. Mean? A lot of the great fighters that didn't, I didn't spar, they just spar the for it. They'll tell you all about me. So, okay. you know. All right. Speaking of your weight class, Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> Saturday, Devin Haney becomes the undisputed lightweight champ of the world. Yeah. Did you watch that fight? Yes, sir. Yeah. You watch anything that affects you. Um, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, what you think of the performance? It was a great, it was a great performance from Devin Haney, you know, because he could have easily suckered in the uh, Cambosa and went, try to go shot for shot with him. And Cambosa mm. is a strong fighter. You see, he, he held it up until the end. Mm. He still was strong at the end, throwing big shots. You know, Devin Haney just never just boxed me, showing him how easy it was just to get to that, get that undisputed. All right, now, is that the right way to fight in somebody's hometown? Yes. Be careful. Be careful. Sometimes, sometimes you like I said. Sometimes it depends how the fighter is, who the fighter is. You know, sometimes you can take the fight to him yeah. and beat his ass in his own hometown. But he fought the right fight because Devin Haney, I mean, uh, Cambosa is a known puncher. He's a puncher. You seen it the way he hit Tiafimo, the way he did Tiafimo that fight. So uh, it, he showed a lot in that fight. So Devin Haney, that was the only way to beat him. The boxing, you can't you couldn't stand there and brawl with him. I don't care who you are. This is the, that's where Tio made the mistake, yep. trying to trying to use his power because Tiafimo got a lot of power. He mm. got power too, but it, sometimes it don't be the right time to bring that power out at the beginning of the fight. You think you can scare somebody with power? Sometimes you got to use your skills. Power don't work with everybody. Now, what, is that how you fight somebody that uh, you got dudes like Wilder, yeah. dudes like Tank that they one shot, one kill? But they seem to fall in love with it to where as though now their work rate gets low. How yeah. do you fight a guy like that? You got to stay poised. You got to be able to stay poised and make a fight boring if it come down to it. Forget with the fans and all that booing and all that. Make the fight boring. Keep a jab. Keep a steady jab there. You know? And don't get yourself caught up in throwing the same shots because that's what they look for. They look for you to throw them same shots. And once you throw it, it's a mistake that you want to make. And if you throw it and you feed right into it and they'll be able to throw their power shots off there. Hmm. And then that's how... Um, Roley, that's how Roley got himself caught. He threw the same shot twice. Same power True. shot. 
feeding into it instead of sticking to the jab and stay boxing like how he was staying for it. Because when he was over there throwing his jab and boxing, the tank wasn't hitting him with a lot of them shots. Hmm. Once he started trying to like go get it, that's where he made a mistake. And the tank is dangerous when you're trying to go get it with him. Very dangerous.